Welcome back to the third episode of Anchor Analysis. Today, Vanderbilt lost to Wake Forest 36 to 20 at Winston-Salem, making it Vanderbilt's first loss of the season. Today, I, I covered the game with Anish Maga, our deputy sports editor in Winston-Salem. Anish, what are your thoughts on the game? I thought Vanderbilt did well to make it a competitive game today, but I do think first hit the turnovers, three turnovers, and three turnovers on downs as well. That definitely cost Vanderbilt. Thinking about Will Shepard's fumble especially, killing the momentum. Um, it was really tough for Vanderbilt to come back from that. That was kind of a dagger early on in the game. And then secondly, rushing attack was really tough uh, for Vanderbilt to, to compete with. Uh, nearly 300 yards, nearly seven yards of carry from Wake Forest. Clark Lee said post game that that was kind of the design to get them to run the ball more, but uh, didn't work out too well for them today. And it's definitely something to shore up as we see them move uh, more towards conference play. Absolutely. And when you lose by 16 points against such a such a good team, that the margin of error is so low. So when you have 10 points off of turnovers, again, AJ Swan had two interceptions. Will Shepard lost a, a punt. Um, a, a catch that he should have had, they scored the other way. When you allow 10 points the other way there, it just puts you even even further back in the chains. And I think what's really important is the Commodores need to look at these errors and see what they can improve on for the UNLV game. What's a positive that you saw? A positive I was really excited by was freshman London Humphreys, who had 109 yards, four catches, and a touchdown. And also Will Shepard had two touchdowns making it two touchdowns in the past three games six touchdowns on the season which is the leader in the sec honest what have you seen that you were really happy with i would say one thing was uh it just was like he came out uh threw a pick almost immediately went in for a two-hour lightning delay um but he came back and you know he did have a pick before the end of the half but besides that i think he led some strong drives played a good defense a strong respected defense um i, I think he did a good job bouncing back today and Although it wasn't a perfect game, wasn't a seamless game, and you definitely want to see him progress a little bit more as a sophomore this year, um, I, I was impressed by how he kind of bounced back from that, from that really, uh, really interception. Absolutely, and going back to the negatives, you were mentioning how the secondary really like let up a lot of yards specifically on the ground, almost 300 yards on the ground. What do you need to see in the UNLV game, in the UNLV game, to be convinced that? the Vanderbilt Commodores can compete against SEC opponents. I mean, frankly, I think it comes down to improved play from their corner specifically. I think we saw Martel Hype and uh, B.J. Anderson get, get burned a few times. Uh, B.J. Anderson had two uh, pass interference calls, uh, one on third and 19 and one in the end zone, which really hampered Vanderbilt on a drive that Wake Forest got a touchdown on. So really, uh, we'll put it frankly, uh, I think we need to see improved play out of them if we're going to expect this team to do a little bit better when it comes time to conference. Absolutely, and what I want to see is I want to see improved play from Cedric Alexander, true freshman who got more play than the Hawaii game, but not as much as Alabama A&M. And like what you were saying, more defensive prowess. For me, it's it's the, the getting to the quarterback. I know Darren Agu came back from injury, but there really wasn't much going. Again, really exciting things to watch out for. Tough day in Winston-Salem today, but hopefully the Commodores get back in the win column in Las Vegas on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.